Hello guys, welcome back to SandVFX. Today we are back with another tutorial and today we are going to take a look at V-Ray Metabolus. Okay, it actually does the same little work to the blob mesh. It is used to convert our particles into a mesh. Or let's say it does not actually convert the particle into mesh, but it gives the render time effect which kind of converts the particles into the mesh. Uh, let's see a quick preview. I just created a quick example just to show what the video metabolism can do. I just created a simple particle system and this um, kind of like fluidic mesh it was generated by video metabolism and it only generates it during the render time only. Okay. So this is just a quick preview. Uh, and we'll start up in 3ds Max. So first of all let us create our cool uh, simple p flow system so in order to do that you can go to particle system pf source create a simple pf source and then sorry okay just rotate it okay and let me position it somewhere around here so that i can get uh, shooting particles or maybe a little up. Okay, that's good. Now uh, I can press the six key on my keyboard in order to open my particle view. Okay, I press the six key and it should arrive in a while. Oops, I think it does not. Let's see. It's not working. Okay, it did work. Huh. Okay, if uh, pressing the six key does not open up your particle view then be sure to check that keyboard shortcut over at toggle is turned on so that you'll get your particle view as you press the 6 key or you can also open that from select your pf source and go to modify the panel and particle view either way and i won't be needing the shape and the rotation so position icon i'm gonna set it to pivot so that we have a thin line of particles coming out shooting out and speed I'm gonna reduce it down to maybe 200 and then I'm gonna okay uh, direction is fine just set some of the divergence maybe 15 I guess that's too much let's set it to something like 10 and that's good we can always change that and I'm gonna go to birth and set my emit stop to 100 and I want to emit particles at a certain rate and I'll set my rate to 200. Okay, that's good. And let me go to the PF source, go up here, and set my viewport percent to 100 percent. That's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to space warps, force, and gravity. I need some gravity to, eat to pull my particles down. Okay, and let me go ahead and create a force. Dra drag and drop my force down here and let me add in my gravity okay now you can see that the particles are starting to fall down okay that's good now let me also create a wind and rotate it 90 degrees and I'm gonna set my strength to something like 0 0.5 and maybe a bit of turbulence maybe 2 you know, frequency one okay that'll be fine I guess and let me add that to my force as well add and click my wind okay that's good now that you can see that our particles are keep moving down and down so we need a deflector to deflect that okay so let me go ahead and go to space force again and down to deflectors and create a simple deflector Okay, drag and drop. Okay, I I don't need this big, but still, that's all right. Okay, now still it does not collide because we need to add in a collision event and add our deflector. So let me go ahead in my particle view and drag in a collision. And from here I'm gonna add in my deflector. Okay, and make sure that this collision event is below our force. Okay, once that I add my deflector, you can see my particles are bouncing out of the deflector and let's see what happens if the force is below the collision or collision is above the force uh, same thing okay you can see that few of the particles are 
coming down from the deflectors okay so make sure that the force stays above the collision okay now you can see no particles are getting down okay now again let me go to collision and let me set it to collide multiple times and maybe just uh, three times okay and and then stop just bounce three times and stop and I'm gonna select my deflector go to modify panel and reduce my bounce to something like 0 0.2 because I don't want my particles to bounce too much Okay, something like that and I'm gonna increase my friction maybe up to 50 so that the particles won't move too far and a little bit of variations and a chaos okay that'll do good okay and as in the preview I just added a circle so let us uh, do that let's go ahead and create a sphere right at this point maybe okay and I can just get rid of the first half so hemisphere to 0 0.5 because I don't need that and in order to um, make my particles collide with this sphere I need to go ahead to space warps again and create a U deflector and then go to modify tab and pick my object and pick the sphere now it should collide oops it did not because I did not pick I guess no oh, there is I had I have picked my object oops sorry the problem was I forgot to add it to my collision event so I need to add my U deflector as well so let me go to buy list and add my U deflector to the collision event now you can see that the particles are bouncing off once they hit the sphere now they are bouncing back too far so I need to control my bounce of U deflector as well so select the U deflector and set my bounce to 0 0.2 again and a friction of 50 a little bit of variation and chaos okay and that looks good okay that's it now that we have set up our particle system uh, let me again go to particle and increase my birth amount and maybe set it to something like 500 uh, or maybe a little more maybe 700 okay that'll be good now we need to render these particles as if they are kind of like a fluids okay so we're gonna do that using vray metables and the first thing you need to do is go to render setup and make sure that you have your render as V-Ray. Okay, V-Ray Advanced. I'm using V-Ray version 3. I think it's not available in V-Ray 2.0 or 2.5. I don't know. But it was not available in V-Ray 2.0 and for further, just it is available in 3.0. So V-Ray Metabolics is available in V-Ray 3.0. So let's get down to V-Ray from the geometry tab down to V-Ray and I have here V-Ray Metaball okay I can just click on my viewport anywhere and it creates this simple icon and I can select that I can go to modify panel and here I can add in my particles okay the positive particles add it and add in my PF, PF source okay now once that is done in order to see what it can look like we can just hit render sorry render let's see okay this is what the result we got from our particles we got this um, mesh out of those particles and it is just a render time effect okay but we can still preview into our viewport as if how it is looking so I can just use my preview so that I can see okay that's the mesh and I can also turn on shaded to see a, my fluid in shaded mode okay and I can reduce the resolution it might crash sometime so let's go ahead and save our scene first so that accidentally it won't crash sorry problem here go to computers and sorry V-Ray Metabolics project files in V-Ray Metabolics particle okay now we can control our particle radius down from here we'll <coughs> set it to something like 15 and uh, that's good and we're gonna increase our threshold let's say 1 and sometimes the preview looks a little different than what it looks in the rendering so let's hit render 
so you can see that there is a break right here and we don't see a break right here so we can increase the increase the resolution a little more so that we can see the exact uh, uh, rendering options or let's say exact miss how it will be rendered okay and you can just increase the threshold to be three that will just separate the particles apart but it will get a, a better quality look but uh, I think in our case 1.5 that will work fine okay and I'm gonna increase my particle rate a little bit maybe 16 in the step length it will give the more quality in the render but it really takes a lot of time to render if you increase step length so oh, one will be fine okay and I don't think we have got anything else anything else those are not so important okay so just with few simple options we can create a mesh out of our particles and let's one more time hit render and see okay that's good you can go to some other frames and do another quick uh, test renders okay that's really looking good okay you can also use this technique to create a snow and other fluidic substance okay that's really good okay now we can just render this out simply using V-Ray materials and let's add in a quick uh, material to this one let's say something like a blue color okay and oops sorry I forgot to select my V-Ray material okay good click the standard button go down to V-Ray and V-Ray material and set my diffuse color to something like blue and some reflections amount also I want it to be a blue let's make our diffuse a little bit darker okay and let's get down reflection glossiness something like 0 0.9 and I want some refractions as well uh, something like that okay and also some glossiness 0 0.8 okay and I can just apply it to my V-Ray meta balls I can just select this meta balls and just assign it to there or I can also drag and drop to my V-Ray meta balls okay and then let me go ahead and create a simple V-Ray plane okay and assign a simple white material to that one V-Ray material and diffuse down to white and assign it let me go to render setup and turn on global illumination let me go to advanced and turn on ambient occlusion as well and go to V-Ray down to environment and override GI environment okay now let us quickly hit render render it'll take a little more time because we added some particles and we did turn on global illumination as well Okay, let's wait. Uh, rendering image finally. Now just a few seconds. Maybe something like 10 or 20 seconds. Okay, you can already see the rendered image and it looks really good you can just tweak a little bit of settings if you don't like uh, the way it is coming out okay the way then you can just change that but it looks pretty good okay that's it that's it for today's tutorial and we we'll see you guys soon with some more exciting and interesting tutorials and more advanced tutorials so till then see you guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you soon have a great day